Finnish American Folk School is really an opportunity for people who have any interest in Finnish American culture, particularly folk culture, to have a chance to come to the Copper Country and have an opportunity to learn from the masters. The Finnish American Folk School is the latest and boldest expression of Finnish American culture and life offered by the Heritage Center at Finlandia University. Uh, we're looking to make sure that uh, the traditions that we are working to maintain and keep into future generations are those that have roots in Finland. The inspiration for the Finnish American Folk School is to create our own tradition bearers in our own community. So these people are coming to share their talents so that we have them right here and then we can share them with the rest of the U.S. The idea is that you learn to make one, you make one by yourself, and then you teach one. My name is John Zazada, and I live in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, or just outside of Grand Rapids, Minnesota. This is what the class is gonna make. It's become my favorite basket. Birch bark weaving is one of the oldest crafts. Birch bark is the most versatile material found in northern forests and was widely used by Finns to create containers, baskets, shoes, sheaths, and more. Hunters and loggers even carried birch bark backpacks. The way birch bark is harvested off the tree, there's maybe one or two other trees that you can take the outer bark off of so easily and use it so readily. Most folks that take a class have never touched a piece of birch bark before and I hope they appreciate this material. We'll be doing some big projects like teaching how to make a traditional uh, Finnish style river boat. I usually call it the Finn boat. My name's Alex Colm and I live in Knife River, Minnesota. The boat that uh, we're building for this class is, um, is a rowing boat. Back when uh, boats were made out of wood, which they were for thousands of years, um, the lapstrick technique is one of the early forms that lasted it. If you glance at a, a lapstrick boat, you see these lap planks that are lapped on top of each other. Uh, it looks like a siding on a, on a house. Relatively easy to, to do, although it's, I think it's actually quite complex. Um, each plank is shaped to fit the boat. I think, I think that this building, using hand tools, building a boat, and then in the end, you know, if it's the same group that's done it, to sit back and look at what they've created, I, I think it was a phenomenal experience. It's a way of keeping alive Finnish and Finnish American uh, folk life, folk art, folk culture, folk music. Any musician who plays a stringed or other folk instrument is encouraged to join the Nordic Folk Music Workshop, where you can receive hands-on instruction from the traveling ensemble Beethoven and Banjos, who specialize in fiddle, nickel harpa, banjo, and more. The Beethoven and Banjos Ensemble will also take the stage on October 6th at the Finnish American Heritage Center. Headlined by well-known and longtime UP musicians Evan and Laurel Primo, the group also includes musicians from other parts of the U.S. as well as Norway and Sweden. What better way to enjoy the explosion of fall colors in the Copper Country than with nature-inspired folk art workshops and music at this year's Festival Ruska.